Hey, you guys, we are back to do a review on put a ring on it. Put a ring on it. So, um, so let's go ahead and get into it. Now, I ain't finna talk about Dunbar in that last little scene because I need to know exactly what all that was what's he doing for. But after we know, mm -hmm. let's get into it. We keep it real. Oh, first. What's up, Koya Ken folks? How y'all doing today? Welcome back to another video, Courtney Eddie. I'm Eddie, aka E Doug. It's my lovely wife. Courtney also known as Coco. That's right here, it's Courtney Eddie. This channel's all about relationships, reviews, and entertainment. Tonight, we're gonna be talking about put a ring on it. She said ring, I said ring. Okay. So if you're brand new to this channel, you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below. And don't forget, we have a Patreon, and we also have a merch store. And don't forget what? Don't shop at what? Bonetta Springs, Mercedes of Bonetta Springs. Uh, these people are yeah. They, 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 you know. But don't shop at Bonetta Springs of Mercedes in Naples, Florida. That's what I should have meant to say on the other video. But, you know, this is probably the same people watching it. So, anyway. So, let's go ahead and get into it. <clears throat> Put a ring on it. So, it starts out with Doc Dr. Stacy. Peaches, what's the other one I said? Booty. The booty bundle. Let me tell y'all something. Don't come over here and try to tell us how we should commentate Leave or give our alone. opinion. Everybody got a past. Leave yeah, everybody do have a past. I never brought up the fact on on here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that part there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What? What were you about to say? Then she got arrested for DUI. Oh, I don't yeah. Want to say nothing, bro. Yeah, but what I'm saying is, don't try to tell us how to. You know, we did a whole video on. What um Dr. Stacy and her past and all that stuff. And yeah, we get it. Everybody got a pass, but I'm not judging her for that. But I do think it's funny that she was peaches uh, from thin line. So I may throw peaches in there every now and then. I do think it's funny that um she was called the booty bundler. Still why? don't know why. Why I do think is it's she funny. called why was she called the booty bungler, man? And Did she bungle a lot of booties together? <laughs> why? We <laughs> need to know. Well, you need to know. But see, the thing is that people forget that, yes, everybody has a past, but if it wasn't for that past, good or bad, it probably wouldn't even make her to the person that she is today. She may not have beat on TV and we watching yeah, her. So know. she probably celebrating her past. Y'all the one that's hiding her past. It's still out there on social media. Yeah. So come on. That everybody booty bungler made her into the person she is today. Right. Because she booty. She bundled all them booties. Yes, and she made, did. And she made she got stronger and gave her character. And now she on TV. Look right. at you. Come on, yeah, Dr. That's Stacey. Right. That's what I'm saying. Do your thing. So she is um pretty much getting into Dunbar butt booty. That is. Um, and just pretty much tell him, listen, bro, don't treat nobody um how you don't want to be treated. So, you know, when you have these dates coming to your house, give them respect, <clears throat> show them respect, and um treat them, you know, right. Yeah, you supposed to be a man of God, but you gonna be raped somebody when you come to your house, man. Yeah. Come on, man. And he, and I think Dr. Stacy got on uh uh what's the name? Chance. chance chance too, because you know, she feel like that couple there, Chance and uh, Dunbar, is not taking this process serious. And she said, if you're going to do the process, you got to take it serious. Right. Okay? Because, you know, to them, it's like a joke to them. So. Um, Dunbar was just saying that Dr. Stacy missed the whole point. <clears throat> what point was it, though? The whole point was, you know, you just, somebody come in my house, they're going to show re show me respect and everything. That's and that's not, how you, that's not, you don't do it that way. Though. I agree. You don't do it that way. You can earn respect. Without being a dick, okay. Yeah. I'm just being honest with you, man. Cause you know, you, you know, like uh, what's the name? Joshua and Joshua. What's the name? Um, Joshua. Joshi. Hey, I finna get it out, but you throwing me off. I think it's Jasha. Jasha, yeah, like Jasha. He earned respect, but he was no dick about it. Yeah. You know what I'm Can saying? Say prick. No, because I gotta let them know it, it got to hit hard. You know what I'm saying? Let's stick with them because prick is like, oh, you know. So when you say the other word, okay, I get it. Okay, yeah. I don't want to be that no more. Yeah. So, yeah. So, yeah, I mean, you can be a king 
without being a fool. Right. That's all I'm saying. Um, Chan said that you know she like him like that, like yeah, you know man. she don't get he don't get daddy vibes. Yes, yeah, she do. Mm. Yes, yeah, she do. But yeah, then, do. but then later on, she said, "Well, I kind of like the little daddy." Make your man. mind up. You said one man, you don't he he don't do the daddy vibe. The next man, you say you like daddy vibe. Which one is it? Because you didn't grow up with your daddy, so you look at him as a father. No, she did. No? She real close to her daddy. That's what I meant. She real close to her dad. Right. So she like she likes a father figure in her life. That's what I meant to say. And that's why she liked to be treated the way she been treated with the ma, the bar, two bar, two bar, done bar. <laughs> <laughs> so um Jaisha and Joy Joya, golly, they got to put these extra accents on the end of People. the name. Jay and Joy. Come on now. People. That was from Ready to Love. Jay and Joy. When y'all name these new kids, give them simple names. Why y'all try to be all elegant with the name? You think they're gonna be something when they grow up? No. <laughs> they ain't gonna be something they grow up. <laughs> they're gonna be working at an Amazon warehouse. Uh -uh. So call them Ted and Tyrone. <laughs> keep it, keep it moving. <laughs> So Jaisha, um, Dr. Stace is talking to Jaisha and Joya and just talking about the little napkin incident and, you know, no boundaries and all that stuff. So let's move on to Ricky and Catherine. So uh, Dr. Stace will ask how they, how they relationship with What that couple? That's a weird couple. Ricky and yeah, um, Catherine. Crazy. I think they regular. I think they regular people that I didn't Maybe that's what it is. Get center point over there, you know, somewhere. No. West End. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you talking about some of y'all places? <laughs> we talking around Birmingham, Easley. You yeah, you're you're right. You, you, that's what it is. They, they just regular they just people. regular people, and they put them in the mix with these other people. That's yeah. not that's regular. And I think that that's what I think that's what they need. I think they do need regular people. We don't need to see people that you know what I'm saying. Television, and yeah, or kind of or you know that know how to say the, all the right all words right. that you know have yeah, this charisma right. about themselves right. that's extra like maybe, Dunbar and yeah. Chance maybe that's why I say they're weird because they, they stand out yeah. because they're not as yeah. extra yeah. Or, or as you know glamorous as the, right. the other couple and are. I think it kind of helps to give a balance to um, especially with Stacey being more of a, a I don't know like I know people say a straight shooter, but she seems more to be on a kill, even kill. Not like Doctor Nicole. It seemed like Doctor Nicole level was here, and Doctor Stacy is just kind of like more grounded, right? Yeah, right. Doctor Stacy is more grounded. You can probably relate to her, Bella. Doctor Nicole to me, you know, like when you walk into her office, you got all these degrees, degrees and, and stuff, stuff right? Like you know what I'm saying? And yeah, then, I'm not taking away from Doctor Stacy. Yeah, and but then it's a different approach. And then a lot of people feel like Doctor. Some people feel like Doctor Nicole did not speak in word layman's terms. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. She, she gave all these. She words gives some like medical. Oh, that's right, like the medical uh, terms. You know right. what I'm saying? You know, like what's that mean? You know, I'm from Third Avenue. I don't know what <laughs> <her> mean, <laughs> it, you know what I'm saying? It sounds powerful, yeah. but break it down. So, um, so yeah, that's it. So Ricky and Catherine. Um, you know, Catherine was just saying the dude bought some roses to her. She hadn't got flowers from Ricky in a while, and in fact, it's in their bedroom. Ricky actually put it on his side of the bed so it can remind him to make sure that he catered to his girl and get her some flowers and stuff. So, you know, yeah, I know why kind of she, weird. I know why Ricky didn't buy no flowers. Why? Because if he bought flowers, brought them to that house, and little kids went in and took them and started playing with them. Little <laughs> the kids stay there too? Yeah, you said sister and her two little kids. Oh, the, I ain't hear the two. Yeah, then mom. the mom stay there. The and brother be there. God the mighty. Ooh, they gonna think it. Ooh, I will, never mind. I ain't gonna say that. So, um, yeah. It's, it's, no, I was gonna say it. Only. No. I'll tell you later. Okay. Because <laughs> <laughs> you know people still hear you when you try to whisper. <laughs> okay. Right so, um, so they were friends, you know, b before. So sometimes, um, Catherine said Ricky kind of still is in that mindset of friends and really doesn't, you know, woo his girl anymore. So she want to be wooed and stuff. So, um, she said she did like her date with Mark. He was funny. You know, he was a great listener. Um, Ricky, not so good of a listener. I was like, God, now nah, Ricky was getting punched on it. Bam, well, bam, Ricky bam. can't listen. Stay in the house. <laughs> All them people in the house, you gotta listen to everybody. You ain't got room to listen just to you. You gotta listen to his mom, his sister, her kids, and his brother. You got a lot of people in the house. So let me say this now. <laughs> now that we know, because Ricky made it seem like that his folks stay with him. Because he said that he wanted Catherine to stay with him. 
And Catherine's like, you know, it's a lot of people in that house. So does Ricky stay with his folks or does his folks stay with him? Even. Because he said he a provider, he paid the bills. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Well, you know how brothers all when they get older, they stay at home with their parents. They go, hey man, you you stay home with your parents? No, they stay with me. But actually, they stay home with their parents. They might pay a couple of bills in the house. You know what I'm saying? Then that's what they say. Yeah, I provide for. You know what I'm saying? Come on, now. It's it's a terminology there. It bro. is a terminology. So um. So she was asking, okay, did, did any of the ladies want to go on a second date with these people? Joya said, no second date, I knew. And she was like, because he coming on too strong. He he couldn't even get to know her because he was just trying to woo her. And that's that's exactly what I mean. Some guys be doing too much, but you ain't trying to get, oh, I want to wife you up, man. I can take care of you, all that that's stuff. That's like what that. happens when you get an old school on the show that ain't been in the streets in a while. Because all he trying to do is woo you. It's all about conversation, man. Get to know her. You know what I'm saying? Talk to her. And I'm so glad you weren't like that because, hey, ooh, child, we would not be together. Talk to her, man. Get to know her. Make her laugh. Have some jokes, man. What, when, when that turned you off, if a woman was like, man, I just want you to be my husband. I want, you know what I'm saying? I, I know I can lay it on you. I, I can give uh, you what you want. You want to be can, honest with you? What? Not, not until I got the draws. After I got the draws, yeah, I don't want to. I got what I want. I'm done. <laughs> so let's move on. So she asked Chance. She said no second day. Um, <clears throat> and then um, she was like, you know, he wasn't enough man for her. And then Chance. You know, Chance. Yeah. And Dunbar said, yeah, that's right. Give, y'all going to give her somebody. Give somebody that's going to be competition for me and stuff like that. Don't give her like no little boy. Okay. Bro, you look at I have this queen here. Okay. Cause I would trash you. You hear me? You would what? Trash him. Talking about some competition. Go ahead. No, it's all right. All what right. you doing today? Oh, no, you're saying, man. You know, I understand you being confident, okay? But you got to be humble too. And you still be a man of God. Post-man. I know. I know a lot of guys in Atlanta will be well. Will be. Very good competition for you. You know what I'm saying? Probably they probably out of your league right now. You know what I'm saying? But come on, don't be putting the man down like that. That's all I'm trying to oh, say. Yeah, you know what I'm sure. saying? Because it's always gonna be somebody out there better than you. Heck yeah. I know some guys out there would crush me right now. You know what I'm saying? Come out here with the big house, fancy cars and stuff. Yeah, man, got millions of dollars in that account. Yeah, it's always gonna be a bigger person on the block. That's all I'm saying. No shade to a Dunbar, but I didn't like how he came on. That's why I said I didn't so. like him at all. I didn't like him. Because, you know, man, uh, uh, oof. They can say something. Next time you do that, say some competition. Well, and they will. And they will. And she said that. And they she will. She said it. Uh, send Hollywood back over there. <laughs> <laughs> so Catherine said um no second date for her. She said Mark is kind of like he was cool and all, but he kind of like Rick. So, but she told him, listen, you know, you don't judge him by the, the you gotta separate the right. two. And, it's and, a process. And get to know that person in that moment. Don't think you far ahead. So Dr. Stacy said, now is the guy's time. <clears throat> it's the guy's time to go on a date with women. Um and we gonna do the same thing. Don't be like Dunbar. You know what I'm saying? Don't get them all these rules what they can and cannot do. And guess what Chance does? What? Chance. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. When the oh woman, yeah. 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 Um. And so, uh, but some of the ladies was like, "Mm mm, I'm not gonna get this man rules." What Catherine was like, "Mm mm, this, that, and that, and this." So, um, you know, so she was saying, "Don't try to control nobody." So Jaysha is getting ready to go on his date. Um, she told him that. <clears throat> um, his girl told him there is no boundaries, although she wanted to look like she wanted to make boundaries, but she told him there is no boundaries. The only reason why she did that because he told her that. Right. So, um, Celine is Jaisha's date, and she is gorgeous. I'm just want to say I can't say is. that, but yeah. Baby, you have said that women are gorgeous. Ah, but you know. What you finna say? She fine. She got a big old booty. Go pay, No, he didn't do that. No, man. <laughs> she wearing that dress. No, we not yeah, finna I'm do not that. You have right. said that women are gorgeous. But I'm just saying, yes, yeah, she was attractive, and I think well, Jaisha, Jaisha, Jaisha knew that too. Oh, when he, he when did. She, when she first walked in, you no, know, he had a little smirk on his face. Yeah, okay, all right. And she was tall too. You know, his, his old lady is short. Oh, yeah. well, maybe he like him short. 
Why you say she was tall too? Like that's what and he said like, that. What he said that he no, liked the fact no, that was Dunbar said one, uh, that she was tall. Um, uh, so Celine came in. Um, she okay. So she kind of gave us a little backstory by herself. She was like, you know, she don't have kids. She's not in, not in no rush to have kids nor get married. No, that's so right, that's uh, right up his alley. alley. Yeah, right. And so when she came in, you could tell that Joya, she was a little bothered. Oh, a little bother. She was a lot bother, man. You know. Let me tell you something. When these women finna get ready to come to my house to get my man, I am definitely gonna make sure that I am looking the part, baby. I'm gonna be looking the part. And we're like, you going, mm -mm, and I'm just dressed up, Jack. I'm just dressed up. So, um, so yeah, um, what's her name? Celine. She came in. She's very beautiful. She had a little dress on and little booty popping and all that stuff, whatever. So, you know, um, Jason. Okay. And so Joya, she give me kiss. Give me kiss. Oh, let me wipe these off. I was like, girl, you're doing too much now. I love you. See, what the point is when you do that in front of the in front of the date, they know you bother. That's why they know, you know, they, they sit back and look at you. Just look at that. I got her shook. She trying to kiss a man, claim her territory. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Just chill. <laughs> if you got faith in your spouse and you in this process, just chill, man. You know what I'm saying? Don't give that other person. The energy that you are bothered by their presence, exactly. man. Exactly. Yeah, that's what she did. Mm -hmm. Kiss me, baby. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Your old girlfriend. All right. I know that's your man. Calm down. Calm down. So, in the next thing, you got Ricky getting ready for his date. And you got the sister there. You got <laughs> the, the brother. brother there. The mama was upstairs. Yep. And then that house looked like one of them little tight houses. You said stuff. you want some normal people. I didn't say that. I said they are normal people. They, they, they beyond normal people. I'm talking about, ooh, that y'all got basketball. <laughs> basketball get you go back there. Like, the streets don't look like, yeah. they, they look like one of them streets where got a little gravel I'm on it. I'm telling you, West End, man. West End. I said center point. I said West End. And, um, so Ricky was just saying, you know, he hadn't been on a date in a while. I was like, dang, Ricky don't do nothing. Hey, you right. He can't. If he go on a date, he gotta take everybody. Yeah. Where you going? Uh, I wanna go. So he yeah. He can't, man. Right. The boss are gonna say, bring me something back. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? He like uh, Dunbar. Yeah. Bring know. me something to eat. That's nothing like what Dunbar said. Bring the competition. I want respect. You want respect for that young man, but you want that young man to bring you something back to eat. Right. See that right? That bothers me. Man. Yeah. Um, so it seemed like they hadn't been on a date in a while, so you know, yeah, I pegged it. The girl sitting on the couch, I said, That's his sister, yeah, because they talked a lot, yeah, they got that the the drag. drag, they got yeah. a drag when they talk, yeah. so yeah, they definitely talk a lot, Look so alike too. yeah, so Sheila is his date, she's 35 years old, she pull up. Sheila pull up. I think she had a BMW yeah, or something like that. I think she said she was an RN. Yeah, so she pull up and Ricky was like, mm. yeah. So Catherine was a little bothered because he was like, she, you know, red, red hair. hair. Mm. You know, she wearing her dress. And why they told her to wear a dress? When I went on my date, they told me to dress <laughs> casual. So I just had on some jeans and a sweater, some tennis shoes. But no, he get to go on a date. And the girl come with a little popping dress and stuff like that. I didn't know they tell them how to dress. I, I didn't know that either. I guess I'll. She right. said, well, they get some smoothies. So, yeah, she was. Yeah, she, she was balling. Yeah, yeah, she was. Uh, I think she, uh, uh, what was her name? Sheila? Her name, Catherine. Catherine. And I think she was telling uh, Ricky they was going to some kind of restaurant, some kind of, what was it, Jamaican restaurant? I think so. Yeah, they can dance and stuff. And she, when they left, uh, what's Ricky, what girl name? Sheila. Sheila. Yeah. No, no, his his current girl yeah. is Catherine. Catherine. Okay, I'm talking about Sheila was his date. Sheila is his date. Yeah, when Sheila popped in. She was telling Ricky that we're gonna go to some, some to a, uh like a Caribbean restaurant, a little club, a lounge. Right. And uh Catherine, when they left, Catherine said, yeah, like they going to the club. And said, yeah, they look like they going to the club because she dressed like she going to the club. And the thing is, man, she was bothered because uh Sheila came in there popping. Yeah. And um and he was like, She got red hair, he liked red hair, I got red hair. Hers was like red, red. Look like this kind of red. But she she was a tomboy too. You can tell by how she was built too. Oh, okay. You can see she was athletic. You yeah. know what I'm saying? You can tell she played some kind of sports. But Catherine did say, Listen, don't be doing nothing that you wouldn't do with me. So don't be opening no doors because you don't open my door. And guess what don't he be did? being a gentleman because you ain't a gentleman to me. Guess what he did? Open Where's her car door. 
open sheet of the car door, down the door. She said, Ooh, you a gym. He said, I'm trying. I'm learning. I'm learning. I'm like, All right, Ricky. You're going to get kicked out. You know you can't afford it. You can't afford to leave. <laughs> no. So, anyway, uh, so Jaysha is going on his date with Celine. Let me tell you something, child. This date was all that and then something. Yeah, I was Jaysha, like, this. Jaysha is kind of. I'm not counting. He was feeling her. I mean, all he was feeling her because she was saying the right things. She wants the, the same thing basically what he wants. She travels. She knows Spanish, uh, broken Spanish, but she she knows some Spanish like he does. And they're speaking Spanish towards one to one another. So I said, okay, yeah. I'm like you. I said, oh, hmm. this piqued my interest right yeah, here. You know what I'm saying? So she thirty, he forty. Right. You know, two she, year difference. She said that she ain't in the rush to have no kids. She ain't in the rush to get married. If it happened, it happened. But she is not going to be a baby mama. So if she Good get married, that's her. when she's going to have kids. But right. she ain't going to be out here just having no kids. Good for her. And um, and so, yeah. So she was just like, she enjoyed living and, life. I mean, because y'all, but when, when, when she said that about not having kids, if she's not married, Ricky, like, no, Joshua, Joshua said, really? Because you, you hear so many times that even though they're not going to get married, they still want to have kids. Yeah. In which, you know, you know, okay, I guess whatever your prerogative is, but the old days of being married first and have kids seem like it's going out the window. Yeah. So um so she's into, you know, um the chakra, she's into, you know, into Medi- your body meditation. meditation. She's into all that. So he was so intrigued, honey. I said, you know what? Shout out to the people who put a ring on her, honey, because they know how to match up these dates. Mm. They well, match them up, match for the them up. For, for the men. The first date for the women. Oh yeah, yeah. but they are gonna give the men some little flutes and stuff. Oh like yeah, that but too. still, but the first date uh, to me should be, you know, should should be, should be a home run date. You know what I'm saying? It should be the top tier date. The first date, the top tier dates with these guys was top tier. Okay, the first date with these guys was top tier. The first date with the women, they were like, they uh, little, uh, yeah, little league. <laughs> <laughs> Except for um Catherine. Yeah, now, Catherine she had had Mark. Yeah. But um so anyway, so you know, Jake should smile the whole time, honey. I don't even see how he eat. He had ate his food because he was just cheesing the whole time. So let him, anyway, let's move on to Daddy Dunbar child. Getting ready for his date. <clears throat> he in the bathroom. In the name of Jesus, thank you, Lord. I just pray. It's seeing a prayer, honey. You know what? He people like true. yeah, that's what I'm about to say. People like that that want to be seen praying like that they doing for show in my opinion you know what i'm saying uh i understand you probably just found religion and you just got saved but that's the way you do that and be humble at the same time to me him and chance they are putting on so much sauce that is crazy yeah so much extra sauce for no reason at all but so crystal is his date and um one thing that when when she did come up to the steps and stuff like that, Chance greeted her, gave her a hug and stuff. And what Dunbar said, Thompson, oh, I like it. She cut. She got everything covered up, so she covered up. But Chance got her boobs out all the time. Chance, Chance she got her boobs. Chance got a chance, so you can see the boobs all the time. <laughs> Cause her boobs always open, man. Her blouse is always open, man. man but. You don't tell her to cover up. Yeah, and then um, so yeah, he was like, you know, she got everything covered up. You want to leave something to the imagination and stuff like this. So no, bro, let's let's be honest. You want her to have it covered up so you would not be turned on by what you saw. Okay, yeah, let's be point. honest. It point. was for you. It wasn't you. Thank God she cool. Thank thank you, Jesus. She no, covered I, up. I think Dunbar the type of bro. He he he, he says a, a good thing, but he's not gonna do a good thing. At if, all. if he gets an opportunity to to slip up, if you if you know what I mean, he will slip up. Yeah, he will. Okay, so I still see that in him. Yeah. So you can't sit up here and say you thank God that your date is covered up when you got your girl in the house on camera where we can see. You know what I'm saying? Uh, her cleavage out right here, her midriff out right here, and stuff. Yeah, you at home, but she's still on national TV. You yeah, don't tell her, baby, wearing, cover up. She always will. Uh, Tight clothes, yeah, fitted clothes, no, yeah, which, no, is, no, which is fine. What's going on with that? But I hear hear me out. It's fine to have your woman dressed like that, but don't go around and be preaching like, oh, um, thank God this other woman covered up. When my woman at home 
be half naked sometimes. Exactly. So, um, so Chance was just asking girl, okay, turn around, girl, you cute, okay, that I see you and stuff. It was because yeah, let me weird. let me tell you yeah. what it put me in the mind of the day that they trying to do what the polygamy. You know yeah. what I'm saying? When they bring in another person. Uh, sister, uh, sister, sister wives. Sister wives. Yeah. So, yeah. I, well, said, I said, why are you going to tell another woman to turn around? Right. So, to see if you're going to be good for our collection, girl. That's the way I get into it. It gave me political or, vibes. Or she can, she can be comparing booties. I wonder how booty bigger than mine. Turn around, girl. See your booty. Yeah. It, yeah. it was weird. Um. So, <clears throat> so anyway, so she turned around and stuff like that. So, she said. That would be creeped me out if I was up. Uh, what's, the, what's the date name? Crystal. Crystal. That would creep me out right there, man. So she said that, you know, she started asking Crystal these questions and stuff. Um, you know, what what you look for in a good man and stuff. And the an more interview. Talk, an yeah. interview, yeah. man. Why is she she's doing basically the same thing Dunbar did to the guy? You gonna sit down and interview this this young lady like mm-hmm. she's a child. And the more she did it, the more, you know, okay, let me clean because he all of that. Let me clean to you and stuff like that. So she's sitting in his lap and stuff. So it's awkward. But shout out to Crystal for handling like a champ she did because she handled all of this. She was not bothered. She didn't act like Philip. She just really and truly just went with the flow. Like, okay, girl, I got you. And so they go out on a date and um, Dunbar asks Crystal, you know, so what you thought when you first saw me? She said, to be honest, I really thought you was Tay D. Why wow, did she say that? That's a, that, was, that was Crystal, only mistake. Don't tell him that his ego's already big. What you did, you lie. Don't 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 you do lie. that. His ego's already big, man. Don't say She's stuff like that, man. She said I did until you know Chance called your name. I really thought you was Tay D. I was like, girl. Don't do that. Kind of glasses in I the dark. Time, uh, we went to the restaurant on the thing. It was in the elevator. We went to the restaurant on the thing. What <laughs> restaurant we went to that was on the thing? Oh, the thing uh, on the thing. downtown with uh, on the roof. Rooftop, we were in the elevator, and the guy came in. Man, drunk, I might add. <laughs> no, he, but he was a little he, tipsy. He was sober. He was a little tight. Go ahead. He said, Man, I thought you were Dizzy Junior's son. I said, Huh? He said, He played in that football show on HBO. I said, Really? I said, No, I'm not here. He said, He looked just like him. I was like, Man, I appreciate it, man, but he looks like me. Then later on, I, got, I kept getting. People saying that. I said, "Why are they saying that?" So I not of, that night, though. No, somebody else said it. Somebody else yeah. said it. I said, "Man, come on, man. man! You got a familiar face. You look like Martell from Huntsville. You look like uh, what's name Shaq from uh, Married at First Sight. You look like everybody, everybody." And you everybody. know they all younger than me, so I probably spray a lot of seeds out there. <laughs> <laughs> That's not funny. You don't. <laughs> So anyway, um, so Dunbar was asking Crystal questions and stuff like that. Um, he asked her, you know, did she cook? And she said she do cook a lot. Well, he said he do cook a lot. And I think she said something like she may cook every now and then and stuff like that. And um, she said that she is submissive. <gasps> submissive, you say, Ellen Dunbar? Yeah. Yeah, okay. What's submissive to you? And what she said, let the man leave. Thank you. That's all that Smith Hill. Let the man leave. Oh man, he was so extra with that. He was. Um, and then so he said something about <laughs> ministry, and she said, "What well, ministry?" And so come to find out that she is a preacher. I think like over like the youth ministry or something like that or whatever. Preacher, religion, ministry. Right. So yeah. Stop. Stop yeah, it, so she she loves God, you know, and he do too. So he, you know, so he say when all that stuff, whatever. So yeah. it was a nice little, you know, then they had the, a lot in common. Yeah, and the confession was well, this is the best day I had in a long, long. I said, okay, hold on, bro. What about uh, Chase? Chance, Chad, this is not okay, the yeah. doggone bank. <laughs> <laughs> what about Chance? I said, okay. So you saying this? Date was better than the date you had with Chance. That's what you're trying to say. That's what you're trying to insinuate. Mm-hmm. But you so enamored by this woman, but your girl look opposite than her. Very opposite. This woman here, she got the long dress, you know, cute, you know what I'm saying? Not flashy like. But your woman at home, blonde hair, booze out, tight jeans. What's up, dog? What happened? So anyway, Ricky is on his date. Ooh, he ch- 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 chuck chuck cheese in it. He was not. He's not chucking cheese. He was blush. I said, how can a black man blush that hard? <laughs> he was blushing. Boy, who yeah, he ain't been on the date in so long. 
Um, she said, um, so how your girl feel about you going on a date? Cause you show blushing with me. And um, <clears throat> so he kind of talked about that. She did say that she was a tomboy. Um, he asked her, do she have kids? She said, no, she don't have no kids. But he said, well, he do have a child and stuff. And would she have a problem with that? He, she said, no, just as long as it ain't no baby mama drama. I don't have time for that. And then like that. And he started to explain. The baby mama drama. Well, actually, it was the ex-wife. Yeah. He started to explain and saying how his girl felt about it. And she was like, well, I don't blame her. So basically, it seemed like, you know, it's been times where his ex-wife was working later. She had to work on something like that right. or be out. And um, he came over to the house and um, he actually just, you know, stayed there and slept on the couch all night long while she went out there and did what she had to do. And his girl had a problem with it, which I don't blame him. Can't them children come to your house? We yeah. too many people in the house, ain't it? Yeah, that's what it is. They got to go with the kids sleeping. But yeah, you know... To me, you know, I understand why a woman would feel a certain type of way if the if the man goes over to the ex's house and spend the night. Yeah, you know, it's like vice versa. If my woman's go over her ex's house spend the night, I feel a certain type of way too because y'all do have history. You know what I'm saying? Uh, things can happen. You know, the old flames, the old feelings can pop back up for a split second. And things can happen. So yeah, so I don't blame the women or the men. That feel that way about they you know their spouse or they uh other person going over there spending the night with their ex. Right. Um, Ricky did say that, you know, cause Sheila was like, Well, you know, if this situation happened and I trust you and the and the, and the stop it. then the baby mama give me respect and stuff like that, you know, it can happen, you know, I'll be okay with it. So Rick was like, Oh, she understand, honey, like you need to talk to my girl. But anyway. Stop it, Sheila. Stop so it. hold on, hold on. I'm saying something. Oh, I'm so sorry, baby. I'm sorry. Hey. I thought you stopped Sheila. No, stop no, I was gonna say stop it, Sheila. You know dang on well you will be cool with that. You would you be cool with that? If I was to go spend night over over X house? I wouldn't be cool with it, but let's put it like this. I trust you, number one. Two, let me see how the dynamic is with me and the ex-wife. Like if we cool, you know what I'm saying, like that, and your kids are small for whatever reason, but I would prefer you bring your children to the house than you go and over. But the bottom line, you're not cool with it. That's what I'm saying. No, you ain't gonna be a hundred percent. Okay, like, that's what I'm saying. You know. you know, no, I'm not cool with that either, man. So come on, she can stop it. So Dunbar and <laughs> Chance are waiting on Dr. Stacy because she's coming over to their house first. And um Dr. Stacy was just saying that she came in and stuff like that. She said that she was a little bit confused because Dunbar said that he wanted a submissive woman, but then it seems as though Chance said that she take care of her man. So he's she's a little bit confused. So what's really going on? Like, what do y'all want? Why am I here? Why is y'all here? Just be on TV. Let's see. So Dunbar said that uh, <clears throat> it seems as though Chance always, you know, kind of like goes to her father for like questions, big things, things that she's working on, the entrepreneurship, this, that, and that, instead of coming to him. She'll come to him second. And um, instead of coming to him first, she go to her daddy first. And he got a problem with that. Chance was trying to say, like, what? What? That ain't never happened. Like, what you talking about? That's not how that happened at all. But that's the way Dunbar feel. So now he in competition with her daddy. Chance. Yeah, there you go. You on your competition. There he is, right in front of your face. And mm -hmm. guess what? You're losing right now. Yep. So Dunbar said that he don't know how to, you know, handle an independent woman. Not the man that want a good church girl. Not the man that want a woman to submit. Not him that don't know how to handle an independent woman. You know how you handle an independent woman? You don't. You don't handle her. You know, y'all love each other enough. It's going to work out. You know what I'm saying? You can't. Me personally, I don't want to try to control no woman like that. You know what I'm saying? You know, respect one another. If you love me enough, you respect me on your own. I, 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 wouldn't have, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't have to tell you to respect me. You know what I'm saying? So that's how you treat a uh, hammer independent woman. You, 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 you don't. You just let it flow, man. You know, if she loves you enough, she'll come around. she do what she got to do. You know what I'm saying? So um, he said that, you know, sometimes he does struggle for attention. So, you know, he wants to. Have attention and stuff. So, um, I call, I call back. So he wants to have attention and stuff. So he said he does struggle for that. So Dr. Stacy wants to talk to Dunbar alone because she feels like there's some deeper issues that you know is going on with him. And so she asks for chance to step out 
and she did. So Dr. Stacy asked, like, um, it seems like there's a fear with you and Chance. Like there's a something you're afraid of when it comes to Chance. And um, she wants to know what it is. Dunbar said, listen, what I'm about to tell you, I ain't never told nobody. Okay, okay, then we right here too, child. You can tell national TV. So, um, and he, he breaks down and starts crying. And it kind of goes off like that. So, yeah, what you thought about that, baby? We oh. trying to tend the business and do this video. Oh, now, yeah, so. I'm sorry. Yeah, uh, well, whatever happened, <laughs> it must be some uh, some past trauma with Dunbar because he broke down and cried. And, you, you know, and I'm not going to make light of it right now until yeah. we find out what it, it is. It better be something good. Yeah, now you tell me your cat passed away, oh, I'm going to clown on it. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, uh, if something traumatic happened to a person, you know, we don't know. Something could have happened to him when he was a child. So we're just going to see what happens, man. And, and hopefully if something that traumatic is, is happen, uh, that, that has happened to him and he's still dealing with it, hopefully he can get some therapy and some counseling for it. You know what I'm saying? Because apparently it sounded like to me, it seemed like to me, he hasn't. Because he said he hasn't told nobody about it before. Yeah, so. yeah. All right, you guys, on that note, that's all we got is put a ring on it. Let us know what y'all think about it. Y'all feeling it? Do y'all prefer Dr. Nicole or do y'all, are y'all, you know, giving Dr. Stacey a yeah, try? I'm giving this Dr. Stacey a try. Yeah, chance, for you know? sure. Yeah, you know, like I'm still trying to figure out what she get the name Booty Bundler from. from. Uh, did you, I just want to know how many booties did you bond them? It's, it's like the progressive commercial. You bundle your insurance together. <laughs> um, what, did, what did you do, man? Yeah. So on that note, you guys, we're going to go ahead and get out of here. As we say at the end of every video, don't forget to go God and let God go with you. I'll put God first. Deuces. Hey!